surprise and it's Ryan Giles as the supply line. Ryan, thank you so much for inviting us into your home. How have you been? Very well, thank you. Yeah, very, very good. well, yeah, very well. It's been good for us to keep track of what you've been doing up here in Middlesbrough. We'll talk a little bit about the loan in a bit, but how's it how's it all been going? Are you enjoying it? Definitely, yeah. Um it's been it's been very, very good. Um a season of, of whirlwinds really. I mean, we've had uh, a change throughout the year. Um we've had highs, we've had certainly had lows, but um we've really kicked on now. And personally as well, I've played a lot of games this year. I think I've played every game for Borough, I think. So um that's obviously been a positive. So so yeah, it's been really good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sort of take it right back to the beginning. So of course you you joined Wolves at eight years old. It's been a it's been a long journey that you've been part of our Wolves Academy and, and, and growing through the ranks. What do you remember from, from way back when when you first joined Wolves as a child? I always remember being scouted at a young at such a young age. I was eight years old. Um I was playing in like a sum, summer tournament um with my local team and you know, I had a scout come over. Um, it was Bob Bennett at the time. Um, come over and just said, you know, I'd like to invite you into into Wolves. Um, and I think I was still so young at the time that I couldn't sign up at, at that time. So I had to. I was training with the under nines, I think. And then in the end, I I, I signed up. And yeah, my journey at Wolves has been it's been it's been great because it's brought me here like brought me brought me here today. So um, I'm very grateful for that. And um, I've learned so much along the way. And like you say, I've had, I've had highs, I've had, I've had lows, I've had injuries which have set me back as well. Um, but, you know, I'm a big believer in, in, in the journey. So um, I'm, I'm very grateful for that. Did you always want to be a footballer when you were, when you were a child, when you were growing up? Yeah, 100%. I had literally, if I, if I wasn't, I don't know what I'd be doing right now, I'll be honest. So um, I always had my eyes on on, on being football. It was always something I wanted to do. I mean, even being an eight-year-old, I just always had a ball on my feet and that's all I ever wanted to do. I was walled all the way through and obviously joining so young as well, you just end up following them, do you know what I mean? I always, I always used to go to the games. We always used to get tickets as a young lad and they always used to let us go. And I used to be a mascot as well at times, I think. I used to be ball boy, did all sorts at such a young age. And that was so nice as well, do you know what I mean? To be involved in all that. And that, like you say, that, them memories they they stay with you do you know what i mean so you always you're always keeping an eye on walls for sure so sort of reflecting back of course there's, there's a lot that happened between eight years old to where we are today but sort of reflecting on your time in the academy how much did each of those sort of stages prepare you to be the player that you are today massively i think that's what it's all about you you go through the academy to develop as a player and develop as a person as well and and i think all the way through, I've had different coaches, different people that have helped me. And one that springs to mind would be Darren Ryan for sure. Um, I had Daz um, from like, I think it was like 12 to like 16. And, you know, I still speak to him regularly now. And it just, you build that relationship with somebody, do you know what I mean? And he's somebody that, that really did help me push on, especially through my lows as well. I had an injury at, at 12 years old and the injury, which really set me back. And I was out for, for about 13 to 15 months, I think it was, could have been longer, but I came back and, and I, I wasn't the player I was at, at a young age so um that was obviously a setback and a challenging time for a young lad and and Daz was somebody that really stuck with me and really and really helped me through it and I've got a lot to thank him for for sure I think we first encountered with Jyla was his personality you know he's a, he's a great character um his speed he was he was quick at under 12 like he is now uh and his like I say his, his quality with his left foot you know from crossing and from his passing um, but like I say, he had great character and a great personality and it really stuck with me. You know, when I first started, you know, um, at the academy, it was, you know, they were one of the first teams I took the under 12s and he was, a, you know, a big character in that team. I'm very proud. I think the academy should be proud as well because a lot of, uh, you know, people at the football club um, worked and put a lot of time into Jilo and, 
I think he's got to take credit as well because he bought into the, you know, the, the journey he wanted to go on. Um, he was very good at managing, you know, his expectations. Yes, he had his difficulty. He has his bump in the road when he got injured. But he, he came back from that. Um, and like I say, you know, his journey, if you look at his journey, I remember he went out alone to, to Telford because he was playing for me in the under-18s. And I remember having the conversation with Rob Edwards, who was Telford manager at the time, saying, you know, he, he's gone past 18s football. It was, it was too easy for him. Uh, and in the under-21s, there wasn't a, a space for him in there. So I remember speaking to Rob and, and saying he, he needs to be challenged now. Uh, and like I say, he embraced that challenge, went to Telford uh, and produced performances towards the end of the season, which were fantastic. And I think he was close to getting the, the player of the season that year. And then, like I say, he's gone on to Shrewsbury, you know, Coventry, Cardiff, Rotherham, you know, and, and now, like I say, he's playing, um, you know, some unbelievable football at the moment at Middlesbrough, uh, who are going obviously for promotion to the Premier League. We've always had a good relationship. And uh, like I say, I watch his game sometimes. I will send some text messages um, to him to give him some feedback. But like I say, we've always, you know, we've always had a positive and really good relationship. And I'm, I'm, like I say, I'm so pleased that he's doing well. Well, then the loan started after that. How much sort of year on year did they contribute to your development? Was it, was it completely different to what it was like when you were in the academy with the 21s? Massive. I think, I think the step up to first team football is, is, is a different level. It was, something, it was good for me to experience it at such a young age as well still and still grow, growing and developing. And I do believe it's made me the player I am today. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm obviously very grateful for that as well. I have uh, a statistic that I use for them of try and get to 100 games, and that gives you a really good foundation of experience. Um, and he's, he's completed that. He's done really well um, in the periods that he's been out. I think from his perspective, he's had a wide range of experiences, both in terms of types of style of club, size of club, management style, tactics, positions. So he's covered so much and is still obviously at a relatively tender age for a professional footballer. Every loan is different for sure. Every team's different. Every manager has their own way of playing. and Everyone has their opinion at the end of the day. And it's something that I've taken with me and every loan spell. And I've always been, I've always been open to learning and, and, and getting different ideas because like you say, I can take them away with me. And I know I have that experience under my belt then. And like, I think I've played over nearly hundred championship games now under different managers, under different teams and the different styles so you know it, it can only be a positive for me for sure and I can only look back at it and take away from it and, and keep growing as an individual. And when of course you're you're going on all those loans there's a lot of moving around. Is that something that you found difficult? It's something you've adjusted to now? Don't get me wrong it is difficult um, because it can just be a phone call and, and, that, and that's it. Just the whole despite all the football stuff the moving away and, and just having to adapt straight away and meet new people can always be challenging you know I'm, I'm quite lucky I've got my my partner who's really helped me as well and, and and been and made me feel really really at ease and that's that's been really good for me as well so I can just like say focus on my football I can imagine players that go on loan and and are on their own can and go so far away can be really really tough I mean to be fair my first loan spell would have been at Shrewsbury so it wasn't too bad at the time because I was living at home so um I've not really had that experience of going away on my first loan so far away on my own. I'm quite lucky in that sense. And I've been, because I've been on so many now, I feel like I, I can adapt quite well to it now. Do you know what I mean? I'm good at meeting new people and things like that, but definitely Alex has played a big part as well. Cause she, you know, the whole moving side of things, you know what I mean? You take your stuff, you know what I mean? It's tough. So um, she definitely helps with that for sure. So here we are, Riverside Stadium. What is it like walking out here every match day? Yeah, it's, it's phenomenal, honestly. Um, you've only got to look at this stadium. It's a fantastic stadium. Um, and, and the fans here are really, really passionate here. So, and that, that really helps. You know, you can hear the roar as soon as you walk out the tunnel. Um, and that really helps as drivers on. So it's, it's, it's honestly a pleasure to play here. So the fans giving you a warm welcome then? Yeah, for sure. Um, they've, been, they've been fantastic with me, honestly. They've, um, they've really drove me on. They've brought the best out of me. Um, you know, like I said, it's, they are, they're really passionate fans. And, it's, I could imagine for other teams coming here, it can be a really tough, tough place to come. So, and that's a credit to them for sure. So, so yeah, they've been really good. And how about with your teammates? You know, we're coming out here, play with them week on week. Was there faces that you already knew before, before you joined? Have you settled in well with them? Yeah, yeah, I knew, um, like you say, you get to know people from, from playing against them, do you know what I mean? From, from previous clubs and that. And I knew a couple um, that I'd played with from previous clubs as well. So, so that definitely helped as well yeah. coming in, do you know what I mean? Helps you settle in, settle in better. And is it sort of, 
good socially as well do the sort of families you know like sort of spend time together outside when you're not here playing when you're not training do you sort of get together and, and do things yeah we do yeah and that's that's a credit to the, all the boys to be fair we do like to if we can we will definitely get out get some food together do things that's you know what nice. i mean which is which helps us to be fair and then off field relationships really help us on the pitch to to play well and build relationships and get results for sure What an incredible season you're having, Ryan, here at Middlesbrough. You've been such a key player as well, playing in every game. How have you found it? It's been really, really good uh, for me personally. You know, even for me and the experience to come here and and play in the team, it's been it's been fantastic. You know, there's been there's been some change, and you know, I've been able to to learn off two different styles this season, which has been great as well for me as well. But um, I'm just really enjoying my football. What a phenomenal turnaround it has been since Michael Carrick came in. It's been absolutely incredible. You're flying, pushing for promotion as well. When you get to this sort of stage in the season, when promotion is, is, is there, it's within sort of reaching distance, do you get excited? Is it, is it more nervous? Is there a lot of pressure? You know what, I'd say it's not. Um, and he will say the same thing as well. We just have to take each game as it comes. Um, and we have to have that approach all the way through. Um, you know, I think in, in, in any division against any team um, in professional football, you can get caught out quickly if, if you run too far ahead of yourself. Do you know what I mean? So we've just literally got to focus on, on each game as it comes. And, and what will be, will be. Um, you know, we're playing well. That's the main thing. We're, we're all high on confidence and, and we believe in each other. And, and I, I know the manager believes in us and we believe in them. So, um, and I'm sure if we have that, that unite together, that we will achieve something special. If you were to be promoted, how much would that mean to you as, as a player that's contributed to that? It, it would mean everything. You know, as a player, every, every player wants, every player's dream would be to play in the Premier League. And I'm sure that any player that was sat in front of you would say the same thing. So to be able to do it in that fashion with, with a club that I've played every game for this season, that would be truly special for sure. Let's talk about Michael Carrick then. So when he came in, of course, that's the one that you grew up watching play that is now sort of managing you. Yeah, it's a bit surreal. Like he's somebody, obviously, you know, I've watched all my life, really, um, from from following football, and you know, to be able to to have him as my manager, I don't take it for granted for sure. You know, I'm just I'm really enjoying learning off him. Um, you know, and for somebody that's that's sort of won everything really at club level, and to have that now as your manager is 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 fantastic. He doesn't overcomplicate things. He keeps things very simple. He keeps his messages simple, and. And I think that's what's got the best out of everyone, for sure. That's definitely what's got the best out of me. That's really helped me moving forward. And, you know, he, he's got good ideas. I mean, you've only got to look at the managers he's worked under as a player as well. Um, so, you know, that's straight away, it's, it's appealing for sure. So, um, you know, he's a fantastic manager. And, and, and like you say, above all, he's a fantastic person as well. He speaks very highly about you in the press as well when he's done press conferences, that sort of thing. What sort of conversations have you had behind closed doors? Does he share that praise with you or is he a, does he sort of like a bit more hard with you? Yeah, he's, <laughs> I'd say he's a bit more reserved, to be fair. I mean, I, I'm sure he likes me. <laughs> but um, no, I'd say, yeah, I'd say he's very much so like, you know, head on next game that's that that that's his approach you know and, and he won't change and that's I'm sure that's why he's had a very successful career for sure um doesn't want to get too ahead of himself and it's very much so like you know you've done well but we've got another game next week and and that's the approach that we all we've all inherited in the team as well and that's come from him and for yourself as well personally 12 assists this season you play a big part in attack you cause uh, opposition's a lot of problems i've actually got a um, a stat here that you are the first Middlesbrough player to record double figures in assists since Adama Traore in 2017-18. Adama, yeah. Yeah, what's it like <laughs> to see your name alongside not only a Wolves teammate, but of course an established Premier League player who's gone on to achieve so much since his time here? Yeah, yeah, that's, well, yeah, it's fantastic. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I just want to keep, just keep, just keep going. Do you know what I mean? More than anything, but I mean, Adama's obviously a fantastic player <laughs> and um, he's done fantastic things in his career and especially here at the Riverside as well. So. To be able to have my name amongst that is 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 fantastic. Or well, you know, I, I want to play at the top level, and and by doing that, your numbers have to be good. Do you know what I mean? From the position I'm playing, so that's something I strive to keep improving because you know I'm not the finished article. There's still a long way to go in my career, and there's still things I need to learn for sure and get better at. But you know, the things that I am good at, like I said, I've just got to keep showcasing it more and and, and just keep improving. 
he's improved the areas of his game that needed improving, some of his defensive work. But we certainly know from an attacking sense he's, he's got tremendous tools for the championship. And it's just now whether they translate to higher levels. But it's always down to the player, their willingness to learn, their willingness to try and, and show the things that they've been taught on the field of play. And actually when you get Ryan in an environment like Middlesbrough, the way that he's asked to express himself, it's quite right that he's now delivering um, the very best that he can do. His pathway's been excellent and it would be lovely to top it off now for him with a sustained period in the first team. But we also know with producing Premier League standard footballers how tough that is. Um, but as a professional, he's been top class. One last question from me. Where you are now today, playing in the Championship here at Middlesbrough with the loan spells that you've had and the player that you've become, if you could go back to eight-year-old Ryan when he, when he joined Wolves Academy, did you think you'd be here? What would you say to your younger self? No, you know what, I wouldn't. And it's funny, you know, you look back at such a young age, you know, I'd be, I always remember being in, being in the front room with my dad and we used to push the set ease back and play football in the front room. And, you know, you look back at it and think, you know, if, if I'd be in this position now and someone said to me, you'd have this position, I'd snap your hand off. So, you know, I'm very proud to be to be where I am now for sure. Um, but like I say, it, it's not, it, we're not finished. There's, there's still things I, I need to improve. There's still things I want to achieve personally. Um, but I just like to say, take, take it game by game and control what I can control. And, and hopefully I'll get there. I like to say, I believe in my ability. Um, I just got to, keep learning, like you say, off, off the best coaches, the best managers that I'm working under and, and hopefully, like you say, the sky's the limit.